Give it a go. Hey. Hey, everybody. How you doing today? We are in a new location. Did you yeah. notice? Does it look like we're in space? Does it look like we're in space? It's called an infinity wall behind us, and I'm homeless right now, so I don't have an office. So that's why we're here. And that's why it's ah. been, like, what, a month since we've done our last video? It has. It's, a, it's been a long time. Some stuff has happened. A lot of stuff has happened. It's been too long. It's been definitely too long. It's been too long. So welcome back. We're glad to see you today. I'm John C. Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. And it's good to be back with you guys today. And we're borrowing this office from, from some from friends of ours that we know. And we'll talk a little more about them later. We'll introduce you guys to them as part of our connection mm -hmm. in our videos that we do. And so I just want to jump right into everything that's going on. First of all, people may notice our flags, mm. right? And Lulu's outfit, of course. Yeah. What was Monday? We had Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Hope you had a wonderful holiday weekend with family and also remembering those who served and died. And gave everything. And gave everything mm -hmm. for our country. Yeah. We love America. If you don't like America, you probably should click off this video and go to something else. Definitely go someplace else. Because you may be offended, just yeah. a heads up on that, because we do love America. <laughs> you might be a little patriot. Maybe a little patriot. Little patriotic, yes. We're going to put somebody on the screen now, and you should be able to see them. And Denise, tell us who we're looking at right now. That is my papa. That's your papa. Yep. He passed away some time ago, back in 06, mm. and he was in the United States Army. Okay. He was a chief warrant officer. Cool. He flew Chinooks in the Korean War and the Vietnam War. What's a Chinook? It is the double-bladed helicopters that you oh. see, the big well, ones. Those are cool. Yeah. Like the carry ones. Yeah. Carry a ton I've of talked stuff. to other vets, and they're like, yeah, your dad was the guy that came in and saved us. That's so awesome. that's long nice before story. I was born. I love that. Isn't that a that's neat story? That's very sweet. I love that. Well, I that's wish awesome. he was here to still tell me stories from then. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. Well, I'm glad he served, yes. and uh, that's a wonderful memory. Very proud. So now what we have coming up on June 6th, which mm -hmm. should just be in a few days, mm -hmm. we have... D-Day. D-Day. Okay, so we got D-Day coming up. Uh, June 6th, I believe, is the date for that, and uh, that's Normandy. Our troops, yep, stormed the beaches of Normandy yeah. on June 6th. A lot of them, I think 150,000, something like something that. Something like a big that. number. A massive amount of troops. Back in the 40s, 1940, I think, if I remember right. You imagine. Check my history dates. I'm not good at history, but it was a long time ago, and they went up against a lot of machine guns. They did. Yeah. <clears throat> they certainly did, and then we know what finally ended it. Yes. And let's just pray we don't have a repeat of we any don't want that. way, shape, or form. We do not want that. But we're thankful for the, those who served our country. So if you're watching this and you served our country, thank you for that. Thank you for your service. Those of you who are still serving our country, we are very grateful very for that, aren't we? Indeed. We don't take it for granted. At least I hope we don't. No. Let's jump into something a little different. We are in Florida, aren't we? We are. And what are we approaching? I think we actually just started it because we have our first tropical storm coming our way. We did. And we did. yeah, by the time they're watching this, it may be through. Who knows? But uh, hurricane preparedness. That's right. And that actual storm after it crossed the Yucatan Peninsula mm -hmm. could start and become another named storm. Can you believe that? It's crazy around here. So we want to talk about hurricane <laughs> preparedness. Yeah. What do people need, right? So you and I, oh, I was born in Florida. Were you born in Florida? I was born in yeah. Florida. So we're both Floridians, and we've lived in Florida most of our lives. Mm -hmm. Out of my 40, 30, 31 years of life, because I'm only 31, <laughs> uh, I've lived in Florida 30 years of my life. How about you? I have lived in uh, Florida for 46 years. Okay. I had a, a short hiatus in Northeast Ohio for seven years. Great experience. Yeah. I lasted eight winters. Yeah, that's, a long, that's too long. And came home. And it's been 15 years. So what do people need to know about hurricanes? Well, they There's definitely need to be prepared. They need to be prepared. What's some stuff people need to prepare for coming into a hurricane? First of all, different than tornadoes, people have a long time to prepare for hurricanes. I say long. Tornadoes, you got about seven seconds, I think. If you're hurricanes, you got a week. you got like seven days to prepare it. The, the weather people, they love to keep people up to date. Yeah. They love to freak you out weeks before Yeah, they it's love to freak you out. I mean, they talk about storms that are just coming across Africa. Like they're just coming across the ocean and they're already like freaking people out in Florida. Mm -hmm. And you got like a week. So we like to have hurricane parties Yeah, here. they're already gambling if it's going to be a named storm or not. It's, they're already doing that. It's crazy. It's kind of our free entertainment. So let's talk a little bit about what people need to have to prepare for hurricanes, right? So first thing I can think of is gas. People run to the gas stations. Gasoline, yep. They fill um, up. They fill up their cars, fill mm -hmm. up tanks, fill up jugs. Generators. For your generators, you mm -hmm. got to have a generator hooked up. Mm -hmm. People often will go and get a ton of water because water may be polluted mm -hmm. in our cities, and you may have issues with water. And what else can we well, think Well, food. You know, you want your non-perishables, things yep. like that. But even the bigger things, like the bigger picture, right? 
all of your belongings. If you file an insurance claim and you don't have pictures of all of your belongings, you may not get a fair price back. Yeah. And we were listening to a guy this last week talk about what to do. And he said, instead of doing videos, which I always thought was the thing to do, take mm-hmm. pictures because some of the insurance companies have a hard time uploading videos yep. for your claims. Still shots. Get still shots of those things. And he mentioned trees and yards. Take pictures of trees because some insurance policies cover trees. Appliance serial numbers. Every yep. single one of them. Walk around your house. Take a few pictures at the beginning of each hurricane season mm-hmm. so that you can prove that you have these items mm-hmm. in your home. Okay. Yeah. And the value of them, because your insurance company is more likely to just give you the bare minimum yeah. of what it would cost to replace. That's right. So make sure you have that all documented so that if the storm hits and your house is gone, you can have something there. Yeah. I think it's really important to call your insurance provider before hurricanes hit. Have those coverage. Make sure you have these mm-hmm. types of things. Make sure you have mm-hmm. flood insurance if you need it for your area. Mm-hmm. Check with them if you're in a flood zone, if maybe you need to up that policy mm-hmm. as well, too. Mm-hmm. What else can you think of? In regards to, I, I think of as a buyer, when we bought our home here in Estero, one of the first things I almost did was get rid of my hurricane shutters. That would have been a dumb thing to do. They took up space in my garage, but you get hurricane deductibles mm-hmm. to get, or you get deductibles on your insurance if you have hurricane shutters mm-hmm. and stuff like that, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it's true. Um, I actually have impact windows at my house. So I feel like I live in a fortress and I feel yeah. pretty safe, but yeah. not everybody has impact windows. No. And there's other alternatives. Yeah. There are the metal shutters. Metal shutters. My brother is still using plywood. And plywood? he's made it through every hurricane in the well, state of Florida him. since 1963. Good for him. <laughs> you also have accordion shutters. You have uh, electric shutters Lots that some people things. use as well, too. Yeah. There's a lot of ways to get through it. Here's the thing. Most people freak out about hurricanes. There's not much to freak out about. Homes are built really well these days. Mm -hmm. There's even homes in the Naples area that were built in the 60s and 70s. They're still standing, and they've been through multiple hurricanes, like Irma that just came through, one of the largest Mm -hmm. I've ever seen. It's still there. Mm -hmm. They maybe lost some shingles or things like that, but things held up. They were built well, and they're built tough. So it doesn't guarantee the next storm won't take it down, Mm -hmm. but they're good, well-built homes. I think the bottom line here is preparedness, and as long as you are prepared then you will be fine. And sometimes that means evacuating. And that's important too when they tell you that. Not that it's happened very often, but when it does, you do have to, you know, pay attention to that. Pay attention and get out of town. Now, I hate leaving town. I'm not a big fan of leaving town. My wife loves leaving town. I like to stay Mm because I like to have the party. Mm -hmm. And I like to watch the hurricanes come through. I'll tell you a quick story on that, by the way. We have a guy in our church. He actually, the last hurricane, his family left. He stayed he opened his garage door and he watched the hurricane come through and then he sat there and the eye of the storm came through, which was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's that calm in the middle for a few minutes and he watched it like he's watching TV. He just watched it go right by his house. It's pretty fascinating. Yeah, kind of crazy. And I'm guessing he was sitting in the garage because he had his he shutters up. He was sitting in the no garage light enjoying inside. life. Uh, good. So that's it on the hurricane preparedness for today. If you have more questions about that, post those below. Glad to answer any questions about mm-hmm. hurricanes that come through here. Just really important that you're aware of how those work and to not freak out, I would say, as well. Get yeah. your water, get your gas, make sure you have food. Oh, and a can opener that's not electric. Because yeah. if your battery goes dead, you can't open the cans. You can have a manual Isn't that crazy? Just the little things. All right, enough about that. So in our video from last week, if you need to catch that, we talked about avoid being homeless. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see what we meant by that, click on the previous video. We talk a lot about that, specifically when you're moving from another state, coming here to Florida, because we have about a thousand people that move here a day, how to avoid being homeless. Instead of going back into that full time, anything you want to mention about that? Yeah, actually, um, we have a trade up program. So those folks that are looking to move to Florida Mm -hmm. and they want to sell their house up north, Mm -hmm. but they're terrified that if they sell the house up north, there won't be a house down here for them to buy. We provide the cash for them to make a cash offer while they sell their home up north. That's awesome. So they don't have to put an offer in contingent to the sale of their home up north. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, that's what I say. Easy peasy. I say Japanese, but uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy is fine be careful. too. Uh, but be careful. It's an amazing sort of uh, situation for those folks, maybe that also have really had a hard time getting their finance offer accepted. Mm. This gives them a leg up by giving a cash offer. Super smart. If you have more questions about that, give Denise a call. Yeah. She'll help you out with that. Send her a text or email. Glad to help you with that and help you understand that a little bit better. Let's connect people with uh, where we are. But before we do that, the market, we'll get into that. Let's save the market for the next video because I think we have a lot to talk about in the market. We do. The market's still warm. Uh, It's slowed down a little bit, but it's still pretty warm. Hasn't popped. Hasn't bursted. No. That's just the little thing we'll tell you there. Uh, Let us connect you with somebody now. Now, the studio I mentioned in the previous part of this video is Eminem. Eminem Multimedia. We know 
the guys who run this place and the gals, uh, Angela, the, uh, the wife of Mike, who help out here. Mike and Haley. they're fantastic. Yeah. Mike Haley and Randy Mitchelson. And we just met David, great guy, helped us get all this set up. Yeah. As I'm homeless with my real estate area, they let us use this place, which is great. So we we'll use this for our next few videos. I almost prefer it. I oh, feel very no. professional do in you? this studio. It is beautiful. Oh, and I would recommend anybody that's looking to do any sort of Come videos here. that they check out Eminem Multimedia. They've got the lighting. They've got the mics. They've got everything you would need here to shoot a good quality video podcast. They also do a lot of commercials, actually, believe it or not. They, they work do. with some big companies around Fort Myers. They do. They are in Fort Myers um, down Andrea Lane. Yeah, right off of 41. Easy to get to, not far from like the mall area. So if you need a good place to do videos or have videos shot, they can help you with all of that. They work on websites. They help with CEO. CEO? How do you say that with uh, SEO? Oh, search engine optimization. There you go. They help with the stuff that we don't know means the acronyms. So SEO, search engine optimization. Yes, that's what they do. They help with all your website stuff. They actually do my personal real estate website, which is great. I'm they, thankful for them. They produce media that makes you learn, laugh, cry, or buy. Uh, that's what they do. These guys are great. So give them a call, text, or email me. I think Kaylin's putting their information on the screen here somewhere. And then it will also be in the description below. Tell them John and Denise and Lulu sent you... To them, they would love that. And also, hashtag Lulu Lending. If I forget to tell people that, like and subscribe to this. We always, I, I feel like I glance over that sometimes and forget to do it. Any other thing else you want to throw into this topic before we run mm, for the day, Denise? We I are don't know. Along. Just living in the attitude of gratitude, John, gets attitude me through. Gratitude. That's good. What are you grateful for today, then? You got a good one? It's hard because I'm, I've am i got so much to be grateful for. I was thinking about earlier, uh, I had lunch at home today, last story of the day, and then we'll move on. I uh, was having lunch at home today, and my dog, Buddy, who I have to bring on the show sometime. You need to. He was so happy for today because I was eating some leftover prime rib that I cooked the other night. He just sits and bags. He loves the fat Did he get on that scraps? prime rib. Oh, you got some good scraps. <laughs> that dog is nuts. And he's so funny because he's missing some teeth, and he kind of looks like a homeless, scraggly. <laughs> He did, he's not cute like Lulu. Let's just put it. He's not camera worthy. People beauty would, comes in all shapes and sizes, Yeah, John. The, I don't know. I put beauty with Buddy, but he's a great dog, and he protects us. He's He hears everything around the house. That's what I'm thankful for. He hears it. I don't need a security system. He is our security system. All right, here's signing off for John, Denise, and Lulu. You guys have a great week. We will see you soon.